Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. We are at 734 Wildflower Street Northeast here in Salem, located just to the right of the front door. I describe everything as if you are standing out in the road facing the front door or the front of the house in general. So we've got a three inch ABS clean out. If you lose track of this thing, you've got a good landmark. It sits almost directly underneath the hose bib. It's just offset maybe three inches to the right of it. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. We're gonna zero out here. Off we go. I was just about to say, I'm a little bit worried about this sewer line right as it goes past this oak tree next to us. We just swapped over to 3034 PVC pipe. This might actually be some updated pipe. You generally don't get 3034 green PVC like this until you get out to a right of way. Um, and it's not a bad thing. This is about as good as pipe gets right here. You just generally don't see it until you get further out. Now, this is the stuff that's rated to go under roadways and stuff, so that's why you often will, will not see it until you get out under sidewalks and streets. It's very good pipe. It, it, the line almost has the appearance like this thing was sleeved. If you'll notice, and we'll get a nicer view when we come back, wonky spots in the flow line where you've got kind of some kinks. I don't know if that's the case for sure. Sometimes you can just get a, a, a bend in the line for a myriad of different reasons. And we just swapped over to standard PVC. And typically you have the reverse of that. Uh, normally it goes white PVC and then to green. So there's a, there's a decent chance at some point this was updated, although I'm not positive of the year. I believe this is mid-80s, though, and the green PVC pipe you don't see until you get into the, generally speaking, into the 90s, at least. You know, there may have been some root issues here in the past. But sometimes, you know, like for instance, if the pipe out here at one point used to be concrete pipe, um, when you have lines that have relatively straight shots, what you can do is dig down and shove a plastic pipe right down the middle of the original line. And if you ever have any kind of, you know, offset joints or anything like that, the pipe over time will kind of uh, deform around them a little bit. You'll get, you'll often get that visual effect of some little deformations in the flow line. And PVC, the 3034 PVC, I've been doing this 13 years. The amount I have seen that stuff deform and remain intact is incredible. I've had scenarios where as long as the as, the, as it doesn't happen too quickly, um, I have seen situations where you get two inch deformations like you stuck your thumb through the pipe and it still hasn't broken. It's very, very good pipe. Malleable and very strong. Anyway, we've hit the main here at 63 feet. We're gonna go locate where the line terminates really quick here while the line drains out and we'll take a better look at everything as we come back. Alrighty, located the camera head successfully. Line terminates out on uh, Wildflower Street Northeast. The line has a, it meanders a little bit, but if you draw an imaginary straight line from the clean out to the middle of the road, the, the line just about runs dead straight. Very, very simple configuration. That's what you want to have. The fewer the turns, the better. Turns are natural pinch points that are the most likely spot in your line to get a blockage. really nice nice scenario where you can have that a lot of times you don't get it because the developer puts a stub off the main in an unideal location so a lot of houses end up with lines that veer under driveways which you really don't want to have <clears throat> and we still have a little tiny bit of water trickle off that bathtub in there it drains a little slow so we might have a little bit of water breaking loose here for a second but this is not standing water we're in right now it's all moving Now, whoever's been living here has done a fantastic job of keeping this line clean. After 13 years of scope and sewer lines, I am more concerned about grease buildup in, in many cases than I am structural defects, bellies and offset joints and things like that. Um, these people have done a great job at keeping essentially every drop of grease out of this thing just possible. 
teeny tiny bit of movement there at the transition. That's not even going to report it so minor. There's hardly even anything to speak of going on there. And that, that right there is a little bit of a jog in the line. So I say it doesn't run completely dead straight, but just about. All the uh, standard white PVC there, all in good shape, intact, and has great flow. Well, there we go. Hopefully you can hear my microphone buttons glitching out. This is one of those spots I was talking about. You had a little bit of a lump there on the flow line. So if you ever get an offset joint in like a concrete sewer line, I, I may be completely misreading it. It's really hard to know what caused that. But given the age and the fact that this is not a pipe material that would have been put in the ground in inception, um, sometimes they sleeve lines. And if you have a, a wonky pipe joint that you're shoving that pipe over the top of, um, that's often the, the visual effect you'll get there. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and roll the camera out of the line. Great flow end to end. Another spot there where it kind of, that, that may also be an indication there that this was a sleeved line, which is not a bad thing at all. But that, all the pipe walls are intact here. The deformations are very minor. None of them are affecting fault flow in any way, shape, or form. Very nice looking sewer line. Great flow end to end. All the pipes in good shape and superbly clean. So you avoid putting grease down the line. Well, that's what I was getting at a moment ago. Um, wipe your pans out with paper towels. Pour the grease into a jar, and it'll it'll help prevent that buildup from occurring. And it does a great deal to mitigate blockages. That's exactly how you want your line to look.